where we'll go on with our discussion regarding the different sections of the research proposal. The introduction. It's the opening paragraph or paragraph sometimes of an essay or research paper. The introduction gives a very brief idea about your research question, i.e. your research topic. The significance of your research, the methodology used in the and the main ideas of the research. This is the introduction. So we talk about a number of things. Number one, a brief idea about the research question, significance of the research, methodology used in the research, and main ideas of the research. This is the introduction. If you think of a paragraph or more than one paragraph, a paragraph for the research question, a paragraph for the significance, a paragraph for the methodology, and etc. The introduction should be designed in an attractive manner to grab the reader's attention. This is where you can play with language and be very clear with the, with the reader. It's important because the purpose of the introduction is to prepare the reader for the body of writing what comes after it. Something like the reader, it's the key paragraph or we talk about the key section for the reader to decide whether to go on and read the rest of the, of the, of the proposal or not, not interested in, in this uh, topic. The introduction catches the reader's attention, making them want to read it more, to read more. So this is where you are. Where, as a researcher, you might be very smart enough to attract the reader or to lose, if not to lose the, the reader. As a researcher, you know what you are writing about and why you are writing it. So you know more than others about your topic. And you know how to present your idea in an attractive way. In an attractive way. You need to inform them of your topic simply because you don't want to lose them. People might judge that your topic is unclear if you don't present it in the introduction and state clearly what your topic is about and how you will do this. It, simply speaking, announces the subject and the tone of your essay humorous, serious, what you want to write about. So the importance of the introduction is that whether you grab the attention of the, of the reader to know if he is, she is interested in this topic or you lose the reader if you don't use good techniques to attract the attention of the reader. How to attract the attention of the reader? The first sentence or sentences in the introduction should be very attractive enough to capture the reader's, the reader's attention. Usually, in my research, I start with a quotation mark, with a quotation that provokes the idea about the subject. Or I might write a very uh, 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 clear sentence about what my topic is about from the very beginning for the reader to decide. And then, or I might write some points that would then raise certain uh, 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 questions in the minds of the, of the reader to know, to, to see, to say then, well, I would like to read more to know what this topic is about. Clarify the central, the main idea of your research. It should be, the introduction should be written in a way that clearly depicts the central and main idea of the paper. After reading your introduction, readers then decide whether to read more or to stop because they are not interested in the, in the topic. Some mistakes and common mistakes that researchers make, young researchers make usually, Number one, 
you should not have what we call detailed, should not include or introduce detailed background of the topic. You don't have time or space. Very brief description of the research question and the importance of your study and the methodology used. It should mention the significance of your topic for the reader to know what the topic is about. Should not be too long the paragraphs that you have. Half page paragraph or little more, more than that can be enough. So this is what we talk about as an introduction and the mistakes that we have in the introduction. Make sure that your introduction introduces your thesis statement, the main idea that you want to include. Don't begin with an apology. It was difficult. Uh, uh, this, is, this controversy is hard to discuss. People then will know that, well, there is nothing to add if from the very beginning say that this is difficult to investigate. And don't assume that your audience or your readers know about the topic. Otherwise, you might come to a point where they find that they can't understand your topic and then you lose them. So identify the research question that you have. Even though you know that your supervisor knows about this topic, it's for you to make things very clear. And try your best to avoid definitions that you bring from dictionaries at the very beginning of your introduction. You don't have space for this. Thanks a lot. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.